I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. Hello, friends. It is Monday, and it is the start of another vlog. If you are new here, hello. My name is Courtney. Um, and I am a stay-at-home mom and wife. Sorry, I was looking. One of my plants is looking like it's on its last leg. Um, yeah, and this is the start of another vlog. And we are coming off of the weekend of snow, like most of the country. So we had... Um, two snow days last week so Rowan was home from school Thursday and Friday and then the regular weekend and so he went back to school this morning the house is a mess so I need uh, to get that stuff sorted and yeah I just thought that I would come up this is so cute so one of his um, like favorite things in the world is Legos and he also has um, a special like trucks are his special interest one of his special interests I should say so he has been um, wanting to build a, a, U, a Lego U-Haul for so long and they finally finished it over the weekend and I just saw it laying here and I hadn't seen it, um, like with the, my husband printed the logos, um, I guess over the weekend and he has them taped on here. So I hadn't seen it since then. And he's got his little driver in there. It's like super cute. They did a, he did a really good job. Um, so yeah, sorry, I was distracted by that. Um, so yeah, I am just sorting the house out today. It is a bit of a mess. Um, we have scheduled like a um, donation pickup for Wednesday, which means I need to go through my closet and dresser and get rid of so much stuff and I need to get rid of uh, some of Rowan's stuff as well because he's pretty much outgrown everything but I am just sorry I have something in my eye I am just having this moment where I just want to get rid of everything in my closet and I need to do that while I'm feeling this way I don't really feel like I'm I hold on to the things which is not really true I don't I don't think I'm sentimentally like holding on to things I just think that they're there and I don't know what to do with them and so I keep them um and I have for me a ton of stuff like in my closets from I mean I'm never going back to like where I mean I didn't technically like my parents had their own business and I worked in the office for my dad so it was an office setting but it was like my own office and I could kind of do whatever I wanted so I mean I wasn't ever like <laughs> a corporate person but like I had to kind of dress up for work on certain days but I'm never going to be in that position again number one um number two I'm never going to be well I shouldn't say I don't know maybe I will be like a size two again I don't think that I, I will be this was like 15 years ago and I'm just not I don't that's not my body anymore and I feel like hanging on to that stuff is really 
not great for my self-esteem when I'm like trying to find stuff to wear and I'm like oh my god I love this dress and like I can't I can't fit it so um yeah I'm just going to get rid of some stuff this week and I don't even know like what my style is anymore but anyway um, I just thought that I would come on and say hello and start the vlog and I'm good. How are you? Good. What can I get set up for you? Um, I'm picking up a mobile order for Doug. Was it just a fancy caramel macchiato? Um, and a, um, chai. Chai latte? Yeah. Alrighty, we'll have both of those at the window for you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello, it is Tuesday and I am, um, sorry if you hear the dog, um, oh, I lost my turn. Oh, I am in the process of editing, um, I am in the process of editing, um, the book that I wrote in November. I do think that I am going to self-publish it, um, possibly. I don't, I don't really know. I'm not really sure. But anyway, either way, it needs to be worked on. So that is what I am doing. I had, I don't know, I thought that editing would not be as difficult as the initial writing. I don't know why I thought that. Overconfidence, I guess, which is weird because I am rarely ever confident about anything that I do. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to find a place where I can sit you. So that is what I'm doing now. I sort of broke the day down. So it's almost one. I broke the day um, down into to like chunks so this morning after I dropped Ron off at school I came home and kind of did a little bit of stuff that needed to be done around the house I still need to um, switch the laundry around take more laundry downstairs switch it around um, and put another load in the washing machine and I also need to unload the dishwasher and load it. I was actually kind of hoping that um, if I waited long enough that my husband would just go ahead and do it. I mean he will he would do it if I asked him to but um, it's fine. And then I yeah and then I started working on my book. So I had thought naively that um I don't know how many chapters I have but I had sort of thought that I would do um like a chapter a day or two chapters a day so for the first week of February I thought that I would get through ch chapters one through ten um I was sorely mistaken um I haven't worked on it every day though I did work on most of it Saturday or Sunday. Um, I did kind of most of editing chapters one and two, and then I kind of sat down and reworked some 
um, elements of the story that are going to come into play later and kind of did some work on the male main character and like rounding out his character a little bit more or beefing it up a little bit more. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I did finish reading, I think in my last vlog, I was reading Dead Dead Girls. Do I have that book? So in my last vlog, I was reading or finishing this book, Dead Dead Girls. I ended up finishing it like right maybe on the last day of January. Um, I ended up giving it three stars. I really wanted to like this book a lot more than I did. It just felt, and I can't remember if I put this like in my Goodreads review or if I just kind of wrote it in my journal, but um, I thought the editing was a little bit choppy and because of that, it kind of kept like bringing me out of like the story and I think a lot like first I will say that I think like historical fiction and historical mysteries um they they tend to be a little bit slower because there needs to be some obviously like world building like involved and it's not that they're building obviously like a fantasy world but um they are establishing the world at that time so it like um, to include those sorts of details to get the reader, um, like absorbed in that time period, it can be a little bit slow and I'm totally like fine with that. I know because I've read enough, um, like historical fiction that like I get it and it's not something that bothers me. Um, sorry. And I'm also printing inserts, so it's fairly noisy. Um, so I wasn't really bothered by the slow pace of the book. The characters were okay. The mystery ended up, like I kind of ended up figuring it out. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I ended up figuring the mystery out, I think like shortly after the last time I checked in about the book. So it wasn't like my favorite, but it is the first book in a series. So I'm willing, I tend to like give first books a little bit of leeway. Um, so I'm willing to pick up the second one and kind of see where the author goes in terms of like the um development of the character so i'm currently reading and listening to i have both the audiobook and the ebook on my kindle um the maid by i cannot remember who the author is nina something but i'll kind of flash a picture here Good morning. We are actually headed out to um, like a nature preserve center thing. Um, a little bit away from our house. I think it's going to take us an hour to get there um, to learn how they make maple syrup this morning. So I just wanted to pop on and say good morning and um, yeah, I will see you after I spend the morning freezing my butt off in
had a great time this morning. Um, it was a little bit cold and then we went and had brunch and now we're home and I am doing some writing so I thought I would give you, I'm sorry, a little update um, on my writing. So, I'm on chapter five. <laughs> so, it's going a little bit slower than I thought it would. Um, but I have also added already, I'm sorry, I need to rest my arm. Um, I've already added, I think, like 3,000 words in just the first five chapters. So, like, I knew that there were some things that I had underwritten, some characters that needed to be developed, like, um, like, secondary story arc that I wanted to work on. So, it's not surprising to me that I've already started adding words. Um, but that's where we are. So I am going to try to work. I want to have, I'm almost through with chapter five, I think. I want to look at some of my notes. So if I can do chapter five and chapter six tonight or today, and then um, I would like to have finish chapters 5 through chapter 10 by Monday, but I don't know if that is going to work or not. So I'm just going to go as far as I can go. Um, I'm at, like, there are some brand new scenes that I'm adding. So, yeah, I think as long as I'm like making progress, I'm okay. I'm, or well, I'm trying to be okay. 